pay the repair. You can't break it anymore. You go one year harder. So here we are in uh, Hirono with Chad Hega, and how are you liking Hirono so far? Oh, it's great. Uh, a lot of Americans here to, to hang out with and show me around, and roads are great. Weather's been been really nice lately, so I'm just enjoying my time here. So what what are the differences between living in Europe and living in the States? Um, a lot of them come just from being a tall guy, uh, generally above the average height around here, and and everything is small, especially the showers. A lot of my frustrations deal with the shower. I can't, can't hardly turn around without bumping the water and turning it off. Um, yeah, just the food that they offer or the smaller cars and the tiny roads. It's, it's a, a very big change for someone who's spent the first 25 years of their life living in the U.S. We had a pretty ri uh, cool ride this morning. Can you describe some of the ride in here? Uh, yeah, there's there's plenty more of that in the foothills. Or if you wanted to go flatter, you could you could certainly put together a big flat loop. And as far as mountains go, uh, I still have a lot of exploring to do, but I know there's there's a ton of options out there for so it. So, what are some of your favorite workouts to do around here? Uh, well, one of my biggest weaknesses on climbs is uh, is when attacks go or just surges happen. I, I very much like to climb in my own rhythm, and so I've started working on some some off tempo climbing just where I start to find a rhythm and then immediately break it with an attack or back off and just kind of find a, a pitchy climb that's constantly changing gradient and just do weird things with the pace just to, to confuse my body and hopefully uh, adjust a little bit better for races. So it's fun to find a climb like that around here and, and just go for it. Since the beginning of March, what races do you have coming up? Uh, I leave on Monday for Torino Adriatico, a week-long stage race in in Italy, which actually starts on the roads that I trained on last year, so I'm excited about that. So can you walk us through the last stage of Torino? Yeah, it's a uh, 10 or 11 kilometer time trial, basically just an out and back, dead flat along the coast, um, completely straight. So really it's all about uh, power and aerodynamics and, and pacing. And at, at that point in the race, there's, there's no reason to save any energy. It's the last stage, so I'll just take whatever legs I have left and and go for it and hopefully come out with a good result. And uh, when you do a time trial, do you normally use your power or do you do it by feel? Uh, I'm still learning to time trial off of power. Um, I've always gone by feel in the past, so that's my, my default setting. I go off of that uh, very very well with good results, so I'll stick with that generally. I graduated with very high honors in engineering. Um, what was it like to choose between cycling and a, a traditional job? Uh, it was difficult because uh, an engineering job um, straight out of college would, would pay much better than that of a domestic pro for sure and, and I wasn't I was just gonna be an amateur uh, but uh, things going on in my family my dad's uh, cancer diagnosis kind of pushed me towards uh, taking a risk and living life to the fullest rather than just uh, making the easy choice and and settling down immediately. So what are your main goals for this season? Uh, I want to continue, first of all, just to, to progress. And um, like in, in my role as a support rider, I want to become a crucial support rider, be the last guy that, uh, that can be depended on uh, to be there. Or when it's time for my own results, uh, I'd like to win a, 
a time trial or a road race, just come out of the year with a win and something. Um, do another grand tour and just keep on uh, keep on pushing myself. Continue progressing from from last year's gains. So, how long have you been playing the piano? Uh, I've been playing since I was ten, so sixteen years now. And how does that balance out your training? Oh, it's just nice to have something I can go to uh, completely unrelated to cycling, just to to switch my mind away from racing and training sometimes, and just play music. Okay, awesome. Okay, so here we are. This is the uh, lioness of Hirona. And uh, apparently, if you kiss its uh, akole, its behind, you get good luck. Uh, what do you think, Chad? You can kiss it for me. I can kiss it for you? Kiss by proxy. Okay, kiss by proxy. Well, here it goes. I'm going to kiss the lion's butt in Hirona. We're doing a little tourism. Uh, tourism discovering Hirona with. <laughs> Chad Haga. Okay, here we go. Why am I kissing the butt? I don't know, because I think by default I, I took the... Okay, here it goes. There we go. I kissed the butt. Bam.